bridge design pattern. So here we are going to discuss this one of the very important design pattern that is the bridge design pattern which will actually decouple the abstraction from its implementation so that both can vary independently. So bridge is used when we need to decouple an abstraction from its implementation so that the two can vary independently. This type of design pattern comes under the structural design pattern category as the pattern decouples implementation class and abstract class by providing a bridge structure in between them. This pattern involves an interface which acts as a bridge which makes the functionality of concrete classes independent from interface implementer class, classes. Both types of classes can be altered structurally without affecting each other. So there is a basic concept in our bridge design pattern. I think for the better understanding we shall be going for one sample demonstration. We are demonstrating use of bridge pattern via following example in which a circle can be drawn in different colors using same abstract class method but different bridge implementer classes. So let us go for the implementation of this bridge design pattern for the better understanding. So here we will be using the Java uh, programming language for the demonstration of this bridge design pattern. So demonstration is now following. In this Java implementation we are going to discuss bridge design pattern. So here we will be having one interface that is a draw API which is acting as a bridge implementer and concrete classes they are red circle and the green circle implementing the draw API interface and shape will be one abstract class and will be used uh, object of will use object of draw API and bridge pattern demo will be our demo class which will be used uh, to use the shape class to draw the different color circles as the output. So to implement this particular planning so let us go through step by step. So the first step will be create a bridge implemented interface that is a draw api.java. So here we are having this draw api.java. Here you can find that we are having only one method that is a draw circle and it takes the radius x and y as input parameters. So here we are having one interface the name of the interface is draw api which is having only one method that is a draw circle which takes the radius x and y as input parameters and which returns void. Next one we are going to have our concrete bridge implementer classes implementing the draw API interface and there will be red circle dot java and green circle dot java. In case of red circle dot java so it implements the draw API so draw circle is here is going to get overwritten here so it is having this radius x and y and it will print the respective string on the output. So there is a drawing circle color colon red and the radius will be printed, x will be printed and the y coordinate value will be printed here. So that is our red circle which is implementing this draw API interface. Also we are having the green circle which is having the almost the same type of code only here the color is green instead of red here. So here having, we are having uh, that interface that is the draw API having got only one method that is the draw circle which takes the radius x and y as input parameters we are having this implementer class there is a red circle which is implementing this uh, draw API interface and also the green circle is another class implementing the draw API interface. So now let us go for the step number two. Create an abstract class shape using the draw API interface that is the shape.java. So shape.java is, is one class so shape is a class it is an abstract class which is having one protected under the protected section. Uh, under the protected scope we are having this draw API interface object. Remember as it is under the protected scope so if I inherit this particular shape if I treat this shape as the base class and in the subclass I can access this draw API because it is under the scope protected. So protected members can be inherited here. So shape is nothing but one constructor. Shape is a constructor here and which takes this draw API object as input argument and this dot draw API that means this draw API will be instantiated in this way. So what is the shape? Shape is nothing but one constructor, parameter as constructor. This class shape is one abstract class because it is containing one abstract method that is a draw. So this draw met method body 
we haven't written so here so that's why public abstract void draw here so now we are going for this shape so now step number four create concrete class implementing the shape interface and there is a circle.java so let us go for the circle.java now so in case of circle.java you can find that it is extending the shape interface here so here we are having this x y and the radius so circle is the constructed here you are having this x y radius and draw api object as input parameters so this particular shape is the base class so super draw api means in the base class i'm i'm just passing i'm just calling the base class constructed using the keyword super and passing this draw api as the input parameter which is nothing but the input parameter to the constructor of the class circle so now what will happen so shape so this particular shape is having one draw api object of the interface draw api and this particular input parameter will instantiate it so whenever i'm passing uh, having this particular draw api as input parameter to the circle class constructor circle so the, whenever we are calling the base class constructor draw api so that very draw api object will get instantiated and this x y and the radius will instantiate this respective x y and radius here and as we know that in case of this uh, this particular shape this draw api is a protected one under the protected scope so that's why uh, from the circle it is accessible because it has got inherited to this uh, circle class extending shape so this is a draw method we are having so draw api dot draw circle radius x comma y so this is a draw circle we are calling this draw circle here so here you see we are having this draw circle this very method so shape is having the method that is a draw circle is actually extending shape so this draw method has to be overwritten here and it is calling draw api dot draw circle radius x comma y so actually it is calling this very method radius x comma y so now we are, we are going for this uh, there is a use the shape and the draw api class to draw the different colored circles here so we are going for the step number four rather so create concrete class implementing the shape interface that is the circle dot java and then step number five use the shape and the draw api class to draw the different color circles that is the beach pattern demo dot java and verify the output so this is our shape we have discussed earlier so this is our circle also we have discussed now we are going for this bridge pattern demo dot java so in case of bridge pattern demo dot java we are having this public static void main string args and here we are taking this shape class object as input shape class object as instance variable so here the shape class object is red circle is equal to new circle and then this is the respective parameters we are passing here so this is a circle which is taking this x y and the radius and the draw api object interface object so x y radius and the new red circle you'll see here you see this new red circle is nothing but the implemented class of the draw api interface so that's why i can write this one we are passing this uh, this one as the input parameter so that means we are passing the red circle class object as the last argument so shape uh, green circle so shape green circle we are having so you know the shape is Im implementing this uh, shape is actually the abstract class so this shape and which takes this draw api class object interface object as input so that's why here we are writing shape green circle is equal to new circle 100 100 so they are nothing but respective x and y and 10 is the radius and new green circle we are having this one as a draw api object so because the green circle is nothing but the implementing class of the interface draw api then red circle dot draw so it will print the respective string and green circle dot draw so now you, you can see that we're having this one as this particular circle so this draw is getting printed so draw api dot draw circle so that's why this draw circle is there it has got implemented in the red circle class in this way and green circle class in this way so now they are supposed to get printed so now let me go for the output so you can find this one as that drawing circle color red radius this and that and this is a drawing circle color green and radius this and that respectively not only the radius we are also printing the x and y that is the center coordinates so in this way in this particular demonstration we are discussing how this bridge design pattern can be implemented so let us go for the class diagram here 
so here we are having this interface that is a draw api and it has got the implementing class that is the green circle and the red circle so this shape is having one draw api uh, interface object that is the draw api it is under the protected section and this shape has got inherited to this circle so these are respective uh, instance variables we are having and this is a constructor and this is a draw method we are having here and bridge pattern demo is having the bridge pattern demo constructor and the public static main function as usual so from here we are going to get our required output so this is the code and this is the output we are going to get so in this particular video we have discussed how this bridge design pattern can get implemented using java coding thanks for watching this video